أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. The Mosque Foundation is located south of Chicago in the beautiful suburb of Bridgeview, Illinois. This house of God is the nucleus of the growing and vibrant community which surrounds it. A community which is rich in culture and is active in the society. Over many years, the Mosque Foundation's role in society has increased, not only in size, but in services as well. The Mosque Foundation project began more than 50 years ago as more and more Arab immigrants migrated here in large numbers. It was built on property bought by the Arab American Women's Society. In the early 1980s, the first bricks were laid and still stand today serving its ever-expanding, diverse population. I remember about 1954. 1954, that's the date we get the license, allow us to have an organization. We went downtown there to City Hall, and uh, over there they asked, uh, what's the name of your organization? Over there, we pick the name, Mosque Foundation. At the time, we tried to uh, establish the mosque when we sat down in the basement of Dr. Mash'al, uh, discussing a uh, variety of things, uh, the bylaws, the, uh, who's going to be responsible for it, uh, the choosing uh, board members, uh, and uh, who is the BT secretary, the, uh, the president, and, and, and so forth. But there was not much of a difficulty in, in getting to agreement because uh, the feeling we are together and uh, the uh, love with each other was so great that those are, are minor things. It did, did not stand in, in the way. The in the beginning was the difficulty, except that the efforts were gathered ونحن حقيقة ندعو الله تبارك وتعالى دائما للإخوة والأخوات جيل التأسيس الذين أسسوا هذا المسجد وكانت اللقاءات تقام في بيوتهم وفي دورهم والطعام يعد والعشاءات الخيرية وجمع التبرعات وتتواصل الجهود وتتكاثف بينهم كانوا على مصرين على أن يقام المسجد بإذن الله Good people from all over the country and abroad have recognized the potential and opportunity in this community and have chosen to raise their families and to be active participants in the masjid's life. Number three is the house. Number four is what? The Madrid. What's number five? The last one. Before you go to sleep, what do you think? Aisha. Aisha. As a result, the swelling community created the demand for the Mosque Foundation to become focused around services to the growing population and continues to do so today. Our daily, you know, as an Imam, uh, Sheikh Jamal and uh, me as an associate director here, you know, help uh, solve problems as far as, you know, conducting marriages, uh, going through divorce, uh, uh, like funerals, uh, if there's problems between, you know, uh, partners and businesses, uh, going offering some social advice, counseling. Some people might need just counseling for all types of problems they are facing. So we're on that, you know, people call us for from schools. They need papers for certain things, Islamic codes and for, for certain, you know, um, uh, acts that are not permissible in Islam. We issue them papers. Um, 
you know, all ty- I mean, you can imagine uh, people call the mosque just to ask for a phone number for somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can imagine any uh, the masjid, what role it is. This mosque is, uh, mashallah, is well established within a uh, uh, few blocks from here. You have, you know, two ma- major Islamic schools, you have homes, businesses. So it's a whole uh, campus, it's a whole community is here. From the most basic needs of the community as far as uh, the five daily prayers and the Eid celebrations and, uh, of course, janaza uh, practices and weddings. But it also serves the need of the community in regard to uh, schooling, education, uh, offering many courses of, of study in Arabic and Islamic studies as well as uh, it, this being applied to children and adults in all areas. The role of the Mosque Foundation originally was to establish for its community a place for prayer and worship. There are five daily prayers offered. Two prayer services are provided for Friday Juma, Eid, and Tarawih in the month of Ramadan. Janazah prayers and services are also provided by the Masjid for Muslim families. The second priority for the Mosque Foundation was to their future generation. The challenge of offering alternatives to secular education was quickly taken up. Alhamdulillah, two thriving and flourishing institutions, Universal and Al-Aqsa School, can trace its roots back to the Masjid. These schools offered the best of educational standards and a rich Islamic environment. The weekend school provides the youth with Islamic knowledge in Arabic and Quran classes for those families who cannot afford the full-time private Islamic education. فإلها وقع خاص بالنسبة للناس يعني في مدارس تانية وفي أعداد في مدارس بس مدرسة المشهد عليها أقبال أكثر لأنها تبع المشهد لأنها أندر دا مرن لوف دا مشهد فتبع المشهد الناس بيحبوها وبعدين شافوا إن ال ال سبحان الله إلها همية إلها همية خاصة هذه المدرسة يعني جمعت كل الجالية مع بعض. Certainly, the educational outreach of the mosque has not limited itself to just the young people of its community. Adults alike are benefiting from weekly classes, both for men and women. In addition to this, the mosque doors are always open, and it spends a large portion of its resources on interfaith programs, and welcomes non-Muslims, such as community officials, church clergy and members, professionals, and students from all walks of life to learn about the religion of Islam. The demand for this type of work has slowly and steadily increased, especially in recent years. The mosque meets this challenge every step of the way. The mosque has more than willingly taken up responsibilities in providing additional services for any who need to utilize them, such as social services, counseling for families, and new converts in transition to into the new religion of Islam. I bear witness. I bear witness. In open testimony. In open testimony. There is no god to worship. There is no god to worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. He has no partners. He has no partners. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. In open testimony. In open testimony. That Muhammad is his messenger. That Muhammad is his messenger. And Jesus is his messenger. And Jesus is his messenger. The Mosque Foundation is keen and wise in which it is always looking to the future. You see, early on it quickly recognized one of its most important challenges and responsibilities was to the youth in the community. For that reason, the youth center was established one of the first of its kind in the country, which it offers after school programs a place the youth can call their own.
to discuss important issues related specifically to them. A lot of our youngsters here to go through that youth center, alhamdulillah, they brought them from being some of them gangsters or drug, you know, taking drugs or anything like that, or smokers and all that, to come back to the, to the faith. Because of this, alhamdulillah, the youth can work together while forming bonds to last a lifetime so that one day, inshallah, they will be the new leaders to take our community and country to better heights, using knowledge and guidance learnt from the environment, rich in Quran and the ways of our beloved Prophet. The youth still remains a top priority today. They need your prayers, they need your support, so that they will be able to meet the new challenges and demands with more courage and strength. At the same time, ideas of expansions are now being discussed. If this community does continue to grow at the same rate in which it has been, the mosque will soon have no space available to accommodate everyone for prayer. The mosque must also expand the schools that house our children and grandchildren for the most part of their days. Inshallah, parking issues will also be solved by taking these measures. The youth center needs more programs and desperately needs to be renovated. Right now, we need to uh, uh, remodel, rehab, revamp the youth center. Uh, it's important. The youth are very important to us. Uh, when we have started this program and this project and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, we had in our vision that this is going to be a cornerstone for our community. Because of the Mosque Foundation's strong force in the community, it has been a magnet to the media and many other people who are interested in knowing more about their American Muslim neighbors. For that reason, the appearance of the masjid and its grounds has got to be a priority, if not just to capture and reflect the welcoming and inviting fervor which listen, the appearance of the masjid and its grounds has got to be a priority, if not just to capture and reflect the welcoming and inviting fervor which lives in the hearts of its community members. تعلمون أيها الأخوة والأخوات أن الإدارة في صدد بعض القيام ببعض المشاريع سواء مركز الشباب الذي هو قرة لأعيننا ولشبابنا نسأل الله أن يحفظهم من كل سوء وكذلك محيط المسجد لانسكيبين كل هذا يريد العشرات بل ربما المئات من الألوف وإني أدعوكم وأهيب بكم جميعا من ذلك القيام بالواجب علينا تجاه هذا البيت المبارك The Mosque Foundation would like to thank everyone who has stood by them over the years offering support Very very pleased and deeply appreciate and uh, uh, totally indebted to the kindness of our community. You are our backbone. You are our supporters. You are the ones that keeps the energy, uh, spark in our hearts. It gives us the strength that we are uh, serving people that they deserve every minute of our time, every effort of our life. And, and we are very thankful and we really thank you very much for your help and support. Through your prayers, financial backing, and time, you have indeed given unselfishly. Jazakallah Heru. Oh, I'm